celebrating the 4th of July with America's first family of fireworks. The Gucci family produces more than 80 fireworks displays for this weekend alone and is responsible for more than 250 celebrations around the world each year. Joining us now from Boston is President and CEO of Gucci Fireworks, Phil Gucci. Phil, good to see you this morning. Great to see you as well. Thank you for having me. So tell, tell us about Gucci Fireworks, the company. It was started by your great-great-grandfather. And you, it, it, when people say Gucci even today, they automatically think of fireworks displays. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Yes, my, great, my second great-grandfather started the business back in 1850 and um, brought, the, brought the business through Ellis Island like many immigrants did back in the early 1900s. And then my grandfather the third generation ended up uh, opening his own factory on Long Island, right where we are now, mm -hmm. uh, in 1929. And my grandfather had three children, my father, my aunt, and my uncle, Felix, uh, James, and Donna. And they ran the company until about uh, the mid-1990s. And then myself became very active, and myself representing the fifth generation with my brothers and sisters and cousins are now operating and running the company. And we had the sixth generation with my children, my, uh, my son J uh, Christopher, my daughter Lauren, and my nephew Corey are all out in the field right now setting up fireworks shows. My son is behind the Statue of Liberty in Liberty State Park, and my daughter is here with me up in Boston. So when did you start planning for these July 4th shows? July 5th of uh, last year. On, the July, on July 5th, you, <laughs> yeah. hit, you hit that right on the head. <laughs> Actually, yes, yeah, so all the reviews start coming back and all of the... Uh, the pluses and mostly it's very minor minuses that we, uh, we evaluate and we apply that to the next per performances. Actually, our next peak is New Year's Eve. Uh, mm -hmm. five, Fourth of July and New, York e New Year's Eve now have been uh, pretty much a balance of the two bell curves that we experience throughout the year. Um, I know that my particular favorite are the willows and the sort of paisley <laughs> ones that kind of last. Um, but you've seen everything. Do you find that you have a couple of particular favorites? <clears throat> I personally have a, a number of particular, yes. Uh, one is a shell that my dad uh, developed back in the early 70s. It's a golden glitter split comet. We, we used that, that shell right before the finale as a prelude to the finale. So in honor of my father, I, I particularly love that, that shell. But you hit it on the head as well, again, with the willow. That's a, that's a crowd favorite. The salute, uh, some people like the noise. They like that real really uh, loud bombardment <laughs> at the end of the finale. And then the serpents and the squiggly items and the, uh, the tourbillions and, uh, and effects that move. Mostly all the moving effects. And then the willow is the most elegant of all of them. I, I wanted to ask you about a family-run business. You go back to the 1850s, you see in so many family businesses, once you get into the third or fourth generations, you start getting squabbling between cousins and brothers and in-laws. How do you, what's your advice to people out there running family run businesses? How do you, how have you kept this going so long and how do you keep peace in the family and run a successful business at the same time? Being Italian. <laughs> there you go. You hit the, you hit the, <laughs> again, you guys are spot on today. <laughs> Being Italian with the energy that we have and the passion and love that we have, and at the same token, um, you know, you have those moments when you're, you have to work with each other. Um, it's very difficult uh, when you have, especially with a business like ours, which is a very, very difficult business. You know, we have the risks of working with explosives mm -hmm. and we have the risks of managing a business also to make a bottom line so the next generation can prosper. And how we do it, and how we did it, we just transitioned into the fifth generation with a stock purchase between myself and my aunt and my uncle. Um, we did it the formal way. You know, we, we had the planning, we had the succession planning put in place. We used professionals to... Uh, to get valuations, that's a very difficult thing to do when you're, uh, when, you're, when you're determining how much, what's this company worth, you know, and everybody has a personal feeling about that. So it's a, it's a, a lot of it is communication and uh, pre-planning in advance. So you can go through the steps methodically and you're not forced to go through the steps when it's too late. Phil, um, how much are, in terms of the municipalities or the organizations that hire you for these fireworks displays, are they tightening their budgets this year or are they willing to spend a little bit more than they spent in previous years? We're seeing overall uh, there's equal amount of budgets that are going down and, and there are that are expanding. So we're, uh, we consider f a flat market for us at this point in time with where we're going uh, to be good. Uh, some cities are tightening their budgets because it's not non-essential expense, if you will. 
uh, but it really is an essential when it comes to our national independence and celebrating our independence on the 4th of July. So we're seeing a little, a little of both. But what we are seeing a spike is in a lot of our overseas and our international business, particularly in Asia and in the Middle East as well. Dubai and Ras al Khaimah, Saudi Arabia, locations like that are, are, uh, are commissioning us to produce some very, rather large productions. Well, I know people can't wait to see the Gucci displays tomorrow. So, Phil, thank you for being here. It's great to see you. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to it. Yeah. Happy Independence Day to everyone. Oh, you too. Happy Fourth, okay. Phil. We will see you very soon. I have a happy and safe Fourth of July.